Hey there, how's it going? My name is OG Junkyard. I'm a variety streamer on Twitch, typically of hard games uh, like the Soulsborne series and Cuphead um, and things like that. I came across a tweet recently that was asking, how do you change your display name on Twitter whenever you go live on Twitch? And they were using the Elgato Stream Deck software, and so I wanted to record a short video on exactly how to do that. It's a pretty simple process overall, uh, it, but if you don't know how to do it, if you're not familiar with the all the various like of, uh, power options or, or uh, actions you can take inside the Elgato Stream Deck software whenever you're configuring the device, then it's easy to overlook this and miss it because it's not you know completely straightforward, but at the same time, uh, it's not rock science either. So let's go ahead and flip over and I'll show you exactly how to do that. So now here we're looking at my, my you know, PC display. And so we've got not only Twitter, but also we've got the Stream Deck software. And so I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to do here. So if you haven't already linked the Stream Deck software with Twitter, you need to add that account in. It's very easy to do. You click this, uh, this um, uh, cog up here to go into the, the settings. You'll, you'll land usually on the general tab. You click over here to accounts, and then you click this little plus sign down here to add in your Twitter accounts. It'll pull up a new window, and then you'll log in to Twitter. You'll provide your credentials, sign in. That will tie uh, Elgato Stream Deck configuration software to your Twitter account, and then you can actually use that. So then once you've got your uh, Stream Deck software connected to Twitter, you can then start building out the, um, the button that will actually, whenever you go live, the multi-action button, whenever you go live um, on, on Twitch or, or Mixer, or whatever other platform uh, is available, and it will also change your name in, uh, in Twitter. So that being said, let's see how we would actually go about changing our name on Twitter right now. So here, here you see my, my account that I use for all of my uh, streaming stuff. If I wanted to change my name right now, just going into Twitter, I would come in here to my, my, uh, you know, my page, my profile page. I'd hit edit profile and I would type in, ex you know, whatever I wanted to. Example for video is what I'm going to do right now. And then I come in and save it. But imagine doing that every single time you're starting to stream. It takes forever to do. It's, it's a huge pain. Um, so that's not how we want to do it. So instead, we're not going to change our name that way. We're actually going to use the stream deck. And I'm going to show you how to build that. So there's two ways you can go about doing this. The first thing I want to highlight is there is an action here in, um, in the uh, stream deck configuration software on specifically change your name. So it's not super complicated to do. But uh, there's the thing that we actually want to do is we want to build a multi-action button that ties whenever we hit it, we start streaming it in OBS. And we also automatically change our name in Twitter as well. So it's pretty easy to do to set up a multi-action uh, button. There are two things, there are two ways to do it. You can either right click on the, uh, on the button whenever you're configuring a new action and create multi-action, or you can, on the right-hand panel, drag multi-action here, and it'll automatically launch you into the configuration thing. But uh, I'm creating two of these, one to go live and one to go offline. So we're gonna configure the first one, and that is simply like, for video is what we'll call it, for video, Go live, and there we go. Now we want to just below that, I think you can double click in is one way, or you can click on the content actions. You can click on this little arrow to go in as well. So the next thing we'll do is we will uh, search for Twitter. We'll drag that, uh, that name in. Then the other thing we'll search for is OBS, and we'll click on stream here. So. You can actually reorder these. If you put them in the wrong way, you can reorder them. Not a big deal. So we'll say uh, go live. And then all you got to do is make sure this is set to start 
So every time that you click this button, you automatically go live. Now the other part here is change name to live version. And then you tie it to the account, uh, the Twitter account that you actually want to update. And then you type in, you know, the junkyard live or video recording. That kind of thing. So there we go. So I'm going to remove this uh, OBS Studio uh, stream thing. I don't actually want to go live right now, but I, I'm just recording this example, so I'm going to go ahead and delete this. So now, whenever I actually hit this button, we're gonna, I'm going to reload so you, you can see. But uh, I'm going to tap on it. You don't see anything in the OBS. Uh, in the OBS, uh, or not the OBS, the Stream Deck console. But now you can see that it's it's been changed. Um, and we'll do the exact same thing when we're going to go offline for video. Go offline. But you can see very easily after I press the button that my my name has been changed. And then here, we'll do the same thing. We'll search for Twitter. Change the name, drag that over. OG Junkyard. If I can spell. Uh, go offline. So now we've got for the other button, we can hit it again. And now we can see my name change back. All we gotta do is reload the page. And there you go. So now we just do show it. Going live, hit the other button, reload, and now we're back offline. That's all it takes. That's literally how easy it is. And instead of having to go through here and like type everything out, that's all you gotta do. Now, uh, what if you wanna add the emoji in? That's pretty easy to do as well. So I will see if we can do it here. Sometimes it doesn't work very well. Um, but you can hit a hotkey on Windows to bring up the emoji keyboard. And once you do that, you can just add in whatever you want, you know. And then those, I don't know why they didn't stick. But hey, should be all we need to do. There we go. So now they're sticking. So we're live for video recording. Same thing. Once we hit that button, let's go ahead and reload. Now we see that we actually have the emoji here. And then we'll go offline and the emoji and all that stuff are gone. So that being said, that's how you do it. If you need to look up the, uh, the shortcut, it I believe is uh, it's a Windows period key. You just like click on, on this text box, Windows period, that'll bring it up. I had to hit enter after I, I selected one of these and then close this thing out for it to stick. But uh, it can get a little finicky. But if you want to find it, you, all you have to do is like Google um, the hotkey to open the emoji picker. Uh, that's the same for, for the hotkey is not the same, but you can like Google it for Mac as well if you're using OBS on Mac. Uh, but that being said, that's how you actually find the emoji keyboards. That's also how you find uh, all this stuff. Apparently, we've got the police just driving around outside my apartment, but whatever. But that's how you do all this stuff in uh, in Stream Deck and and configuration software to set up uh, to change your Twitter name. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you once again. Uh, we'll see you next time. Have a great one.